going to have some fun on the farm today with the cutest farm animal card you have seen in a long time. If you like cards with fun, moving pieces, and interactive elements, you're going to love this card. I'm Anna Hellman. I appreciate you being here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I couldn't have made today's card without the combination of some unique products. I'll show them to you quickly before we get started. The Peekaboo Farm stamp set and the Give It A World die set really make the card. So we are going to have a turning wheel on this card with farm animals rotating through a little window in the barn door. So this is what I use to make most of the card. Now I used a couple of other products too I'll share for my greetings. I used Whale Done, that's kind of, you're kind of a big deal. And this Way to Goat set, I just absolutely love. I got you a cake, but I ate it, is what is going to be on the inside of our card. I did use another die set, actually two, the Peony dies and this Window Flower Box die set. I used a few pieces to look like barn doors, and then I also used this Timber Embossing Folder. So let me show you what we need to get started. We need a four and a quarter by eight and a half piece of soft suede that I folded in half. We need two pieces of white that measure four by four. Now I've already stamped this one for the inside. So this gives you a little preview of how cute this card is going to be. Then we need several die cut pieces. I die cut this piece using this Give It A Whirl die set. I'll pull these pieces back in here so you can see them. So I die cut this piece. I used the big piece first. I cut it out. Then I ran it through a second time with this piece. You could probably cut them at the same time if you wanted to. Then I used that timber 3D embossing folder on this piece. I did cut out this piece from Early Espresso using this piece right here. I have prepared some little barn doors and a feed bunk using that window flower box die set. Then using that peony die set, I prepared a couple of little barn roof pieces. Now I'm going to show you this card was a little bit of inspiration for me. I made this a while back and I can link you to this here, but this is my Hey Birthday Chick card. So if you like this one right here, I think you're going to love today's card as well. But that's where I came up with my idea for my roof was to use the same type of roof I'd use on that card. Now I prepared these two little pieces. These are actually supposed to be flowers for the window box set, uh, but I just cut them out of some, let's see, bumblebee cardstock to look like feed in the little feed bunk. And then let's talk about these animals. I stamped them, colored them, and cut them out. However, if you want to make your wheel out of white, you could stamp these little guys right on the wheel, save yourself a little bit of time and effort in cutting those out. Last but not least, here is my greeting that I've prepared that you're kind of a big deal. So let's get started. Let's do a very simple step first. Let's just put this piece of white cardstock onto the outside of the card. This is just going to be a layer behind all of the really fun pieces we are going to add on top of it. And since I already have it ready, we'll go ahead and put this piece on the inside. I just love these greetings from that Way to Goat set. I got you a cake, but I ate it. I thought about putting that on the outside, but I decided not to. Now let's prep our pieces for the inside. First thing I want to do is I actually want to trim this into a square. You can make this card in this dimension if you want to, but I decided to trim it square so that I didn't have so much open space down here at the bottom. So I am going to trim this to about three and seven eighths, it looks like. And then that will be the right dimension to lay right here on the front. So we have that prepped. Next, what we need to do is prepare our wheel. And like I said, if you wanted to cut this wheel out of white, you could stamp your animals right onto it, color them right there and save a little bit of work. But I decided to go ahead and color them, stamp them on some other paper, cut them out. 
so I need to attach them to the wheel. One thing that's really handy about this wheel is that it has little imprints. I think you can see that. So there's three sections here. And that gives me an idea of what will be visible as this wheel turns. Now we're going to try this. If the little ears catch, I may need to put a little bit of glue behind them just to make sure they slide through everything okay. But we'll try it and see. Okay, so I'm going to put one of each of those animals on each of the three panels. Now let's go ahead and assemble this together. So this is going to be behind here. And I wanted to check that, get a feel for if I think their little ears are going to slide past or not. So I have this Brad assortment. It doesn't really matter what our Brad looks like because it is not going to show. But I do want to put this through both layers, that little hole in the center. Fold that down in the back. And again, I want to get an idea of if those are going to slide. I'm going to glue those ears down real quick and I will be back. Okay, I got their little ears glued down. So now you can see how this works. This is going to spin. Isn't this cute? Now you just wait because it gets a lot cuter than this. Now let's go ahead and attach this to our card base. And for doing this, I want to use some dimensionals. Now you can see that my wheel got close to the bottom of this. It may show just a teeny tiny bit, but I am not too worried about that because it won't stick out much. If you make this the size of a full card, then you would not have that problem at all. But I just thought a little square card would look super cute. So that's why I decided to do it this way. Okay, so we just put those dimensionals on the corner. Now look at this. Oh, I just love these little guys. Okay, now what we want to do is attach these little barn doors that I created. I wasn't planning on doing these, but then when I was using the window box flower dies, the window flower box dies, I think they're called, to create some of my other pieces, I saw these and thought, oh, we need some little barn doors. So put these on. Next, I want to create my feed bonk. And this little piece from that window flower box die set is just perfect for this. And like I said, I cut these. These are supposed to be little flower bouquets in that same set. And I thought they would make nice little mounds of feed in the feed bonk. So I want to cut them so that I have a couple of thin pieces. Let's see what that looks like. I think I can make that work. So I'm going to run just a little bit of blue right along the top edge of this. Very tiny bit. And then I'm going to lay this right on there. And then this one is a little bit taller. I'll run a little bit more glue the whole length of it and add that piece. Now, one of the things I love about this glue is we, we have a little bit of time to make some adjustments if we want that, but I think that looks great. So I'll let that dry for just a second. In the meantime, I'll put some dimensionals on the back there. And let's go ahead and attach this piece. So here is where we cover up that brad. I think I'll move it up just a touch. Super. Now I want to add the pieces for the roof. 
So I'm going to add the first one and then I will layer this next one right on top. So this first one I'll add just with some glue. I think one little strip of glue down here should work well. The next one I'm going to use a few dimensionals to make sure that it holds it up even with this front of the card. So we'll put that there. Want to see how this will line up and I think that should look good so I will leave it right where it's at. Now for this next piece, like I said, I want to use some of my little half dimensionals. And I'll put them right up here on the edge of the card. This is how I use my, my leftovers around the edge. I cut them into little pieces. And then when I need some narrow ones, I pull them out. Okay, so I'll take the paper backing off of these. Run a little bit more glue across that other roof piece. And we should be ready to attach this. So I'll press that down onto those dimensionals and then it will take a minute for that glue to dry. Oh, I just love this. So I think that is most of it. We do need to add our greeting. And I prepared these little die cuts with my scallop circles. So I'll put this one on in the background right behind the little base piece for the feed bunk. And then this one I already put some dimensionals on. We'll add that right on top. And last but not least, in case the recipient of this card doesn't figure out that they are supposed to spin this, there is a little tiny arrow die included in the Give It A Whirl die set that you can cut out. And I used some adhesive sheets on the back of this cardstock before I cut it. That made it a little sticker, so I didn't have to worry about adhesive. So those adhesive sheets are great for little tiny pieces that you don't want to have to worry about using glue or some other adhesive on. Isn't this cute? So we have your kind of a big deal. And on the inside, I got you a cake, but I ate it. So thanks so much for watching along. You can find links to all the products I used in my video description below. While you're there, please give me a like for this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future. And I hope you'll be back again next time when I'll be here helping you to hand make with love.